find out what, what the pockets are where this is happening, who's being affected. And unfortunately, <laughs> in the black community, we call uh, 17 year olds children still. Well, taking a turn, another top story tonight, Union City Police praising the actions of a neighbor who stopped a man who had stabbed three women earlier this morning. The details are like something straight out of a movie. Kim, uh, Fox 5's Kim Luffler has more on what happened. And I just couldn't sit there and watch and hear and see what was going on. Josh Jobs says he jumped into action when he heard something going on in his Union City neighborhood early Saturday morning. Just woke up this morning and heard a lot of commotion going on. Looked outside, seen something going on. And I was just being a good Samaritan and stepped up and looked out for someone to save someone's life. Salute to this brother, man. Salute to this brother, man. Them sisters, man. Them sisters out there fucking getting stabbed up by some psychopath, man. This everybody, every fucking black person on YouTube should be doing this fucking story. This is a, this brother fucking took his fucking gun and went and fucking handled this shit. Where's Marcy at, man? I mean, this is this is the type of shit that that that, that um you two a guys talk about. This is what I'm talking about. You have to actually shoot the fucker. It ain't about talking about it online. You got to shoot his ass in real life. Heard a lot of commotion going on. Looked outside, seen something going on. And I was just being a good Samaritan and stepped up and looked out for someone to save someone's life. Union City Police were called to the Hidden Lake Apartments around 640 Saturday morning. When officers got there, police say a woman told them she'd been stabbed and said others needed help. Officers responded to that location where they observed a female lying outside in between cars who had also been stabbed, as well as two subjects behind the apartment, the incident location, that one had been stabbed and appeared the other one had been shot. Police say the person who was shot was the one who stabbed the women. As the male suspect was assaulting these female subjects with the knife, a onlooker saw the assault taking place. He stepped up, he took action, he stopped the threat. Um, he did shoot the suspect. We actually commend them for what they did in stepping up. Because I have a daughter. Because I have a daughter and I have and I look respect my females and everything out there. So I was just doing the right thing, stepping up. Police say one of the women died. After oh, my bad, y'all. I'm muted again. My bad. Um, What I was saying was this guy's a fucking hero. Everybody needs to do a fucking story on this fucking guy. This guy's a fucking great they fucking won't. guy, man. Huh? He protected, he protected black women and they're silent about it. He not only protected black women, but he talked the talk and he walked the walk. You have to actually shoot the fucker when the situation of because in the stand the situation pops up, it pops up like a fucking um, whack a mole. It just poof and you're in a situation. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta fucking actually shoot some fucking ravenous fucking thugged out son man with little fucking. Broad twist and sagging skinny jeans and fucking hoodie and a fucking poo shiesty man. You gotta fucking shoot that guy. Hey, risking your freedom for a stranger is a tough dilemma, too. Risking your freedom, risking beef. Like, because here's the thing he's stabbing those women, but if you if you shoot him. He know where you live at now. You live yep. at the fucking complex where he was stabbing the women at. Some man to come after you, man. That's why I, I be saying like a lot of times when people be on this fucking um, platform talking about, oh, just shoot him, just shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot everybody, shoot this guy, shoot him, like breeze wrong, shoot him. <laughs> They don't, <laughs> they don't live there. They don't live there. Yeah, it ain't that simple in the stand, man. 
in the stand, it ain't just like the movie yeah. where you shoot the guy and the cops come and it's over and you never see her or anything about it again. No, this is like you. Sh- this some man gonna come looking for this guy, man. When he get out the hospital, man, I probably saw what happened to Willie Manchester in South Central movie. Oh no! Nah, oh yeah, 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 definitely, man. Remember, remember Willie Manchester? Yeah, yeah. It, this shit, this shit is, this shit is, um, it's real like that, man. Some man gonna come looking for you. Because I have a daughter, and I have, and I respect my females and everything out there. So I'm just doing the right thing, stepping up. Police say one of the women died after being stabbed. The suspect was taken to the oh, hospital man. where he later died from his injuries. Oh. Police are still looking into it. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> he killed the dude. Oh, 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 so that's why he breathing easy. He murked him. Yeah, he murked him. Dude dead. So, yeah, salute to you, brother, man, for stopping the threat, man, and saving those other two sisters. One died, but the other two sisters survived. Salute to you, brother, man. You're a true hero, man. We salute you here, Op Nation, man, for taking out the trash, man. Thank you for taking out the trash, brother. Doing the right thing, stepping up. Police say one of the women died after being stabbed. The suspect was taken to the hospital where he later died from his injuries. Police are still looking into exactly what led up to all this. But they say right now this does appear to be the result of a domestic dispute. In Union City, Kim Luffler, Fox 5 News. Salute to that son, man, man. That son, man, is fucking, yeah, man. We salute you here, man. You fucking shot the fucking bastard and, and yeah, got him out the way, man. Um, Salute, man. Um, Salute to you. Uh, Let's see, man. Anything else going on? Um... Oh, God. Jesus Christ. New at four, the family of a man who was shot and killed by DeKalb County Police plans to take action against the county. Today, loved ones of Matthew Zadok Williams announced they're filing a lawsuit over the 2021 incident. Fox 5 News anchor Tom Haynes joins us from the live desk. And Tom, the family says Williams suffered from a mental health crisis. Christine, back in August of 2021, DeKalb County officers responded to a call about a man aggressively wielding a knife outside of a home on Terrace Trail. Body camera video of the incident shows 35-year-old Matthew Zadok Williams holding the knife. Video shows him lunging at officers with that knife. They then opened fire, killing him. His family members say that he was experiencing a mental health crisis at the time. They say that Officers had previously responded to another mental health incident with Williams just weeks prior. But he called for help. So basically the family was using the police as a fucking shrink. (laughs) Okay. They were using the police as fucking orderlies at the funny farm and shit. That's not their fucking job. Commit this guy. Have some fucking, have, have some fucking placed in a straight jacket and put in a pad, padded room. They didn't want to do that. They wanted to keep calling the police over there like they're fucking orderlies and shit. And he got shot. That's one thing I hate about the Sun community, though. They complain about police shootings, but we call the fucking police the most. All the fucking time. You know, Don't call the fucking prior. cops in. Yeah, if he got a fucking mental issue, man. And he's fucking keeps fucking and his mental issue it doesn't make him talk to himself, doesn't make him fucking, you know, bang his head against the wall, makes him grab knives and try to hurt people. He that he, he that's his mental issue. Grabbing of knives and swinging them at people. Okay, that's a, that's a unique mental issue, man. Um yeah, okay. Straight jacket in a padded room would cure all that shit. Responded to another mental health incident with Williams just weeks prior. But he called for help on March the 16th. Think about it. Three weeks before this happened on April the 12th. If on March 16th, they would have just used the training to engage him to get him the help that he needs. Whoa, shut yeah. the fuck up. He's got a knife and he's lunging at them. If he if fucking he... stabs one of those cops with that fucking knife, they could die instantly. Yeah. 
I'm any any reasonable cop would put a bullet in his ass too. Our brother for the last story, he'd have put a bullet in his ass too. Shit. Tie these bow tie wearing fucking black lawyers, man. Yeah. These fuckers are annoying. He's just man. trying to get a check, man. This shit is sad. Yeah, this ambulance shit is, chasers, man. Yeah, this shit is fucking ugly. It's not. It's not cute. It's not. It's not cute anymore. This shit is ugly, man. Call for help on March the sixteenth. Think about it. Three weeks before this happened on April the twelfth. If on March sixteenth they would have just used the training to engage him, to get him the help that he needed then we would not be standing here either. Now in the suit, family members say DeKalb County failed to address his disability and therefore didn't provide him with the proper resources and support for somebody experiencing a mental health crisis in both of those incidents. Christine. All right, Tom, thanks for that update. Oh God, fuck. The fucking cops, they're not fucking all you can do every day. be every fucking thing, man. Um, yeah, man, let me get out of here, man. Salute to everybody, man. Peace. I'm out.